Hey guys, here's a quick review of my iSpring reverse osmosis six-stage filter system I have installed in my house. On the left-hand side here, you can see that there's a storage tank. I believe it's about a two-gallon storage tank. On the right-hand side here, we've got the filter system itself. I chose not to mount it to the wall because it makes it much easier if I can actually pull it out, switch out the filters, which I just completed. So I can actually pull it out. I take a picture of all the... Uh, Hoses, as you can see, they're color-coded, so they're easy to know where they go back to. Make sure that way when I do reinstall it, everything goes back to the way it was. And that way when I'm done, uh, I put it back in here. I wait for a day or so before putting things back under the cabinet. Just make sure I don't have any leaks. But it's pretty easy to do if you're uh, you're going to uh, do it yourself. -er. So I slide that back in. Let's take a look at the uh, top side. I did buy an upgraded faucet, the one that comes with the system. Uh, didn't last that long, so after four years I decided it was time to put in a new faucet. So we just turn it on and we get a nice water stream here. We've got decent water pressure. So in conclusion, uh, the system's been great. We've had it installed for over four years and definitely wouldn't be without it. I did the calculations and I think it works out to about 27 cents a day uh, for our cost of water, which is much cheaper than bottled and of course uh, a lot less work. So hope you enjoyed the review.